Guys, so it's time to prep our okra and there's several ways to do this. I'm gonna show you a couple, okay, or a few. So what you can do is take one, cut it up like this all around, okay? And this can be time consuming. And then you go ahead and you chop it, okay? So that's one way to do it. All right, another way to do it is take it and just run your hand on it and just chop it. Hello my friends and my family. Welcome back to Nanava's Kitchen. We have reached a thousand subscribers so I just want to really take this opportunity to thank each and everyone who has subscribed thus far. You have shown me a lot of love and I cannot be more appreciative. So we have on our menu a very fantastic dish to celebrate this journey which is a finger licking delicious okra soup. And I have my ingredients lined up here. Most of it are lined up here. I have my okra. And here is a, a tip I want to share with you. And what we do is you take one okra and you break the tip of it. And if it breaks easily, like this one did, you know it's fresh and it doesn't have any strands in it and it's not overly mature. Let's try another one right here. See how that breaks easily? Now, the reason I wanted to share this tip with you is really important. A lot of people use, and I have even myself in the, in the past, used the uh, frozen kind, which is already cut up and bagged. Um, and a lot of the time you will find that it has uh, a few okra in there that are overly mature and they have strands in it because you chew and chew and it doesn't get smooth enough and it just ruins the entire dish so I prefer to use the fresh kind and I encourage you to do the same and then we have some um, spinach here as well and this type of spinach is actually Asian spinach I picked up from a Vietnamese uh, store you can use the regular spinach every time I cook and I know my children are gonna eat it I try to incorporate healthy ingredients so my healthy ingredient will be these fresh ones here. So you don't have to use the spinach, but uh, I prefer to use it for my children. So let's get started. Here's my meat. And the meat of choice today is goat meat, okay? And I also have some cow skin, and I'm going to introduce some other protein as we go. But the first thing we're gonna do is to get this meat cooking to tenderize, and then also to take on the flavors of our amazing marinade, which is this right here. Okay, I have some red onions, a pinch of anise, some ginger, and I'm going to take this um, habanero pepper and actually cut it in two because I only need half of it for this uh, recipe to um, cook up my meat. And right now might be the only opportunity you'll have to properly season your meat before you cook it with a generous amount of salt to prevent it from being So that's tasteless. gone in. And let's get this blended up. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. Let me go ahead and cut it now. So we're gonna blend this, add a little bit of water to it and blend it up, add it to that, the meat, and then we're gonna go ahead and cook the meat. All right, so here is our blended marinade and it's just gonna go all over the top of the meat. Okay, I'm gonna rinse this up a little bit and add it. Okay, here's the rest of it. Okay, perfect. So now, this is gonna go on the stove over medium heat and cook up for about 40 minutes until it's all tender. Now, just so you know, my cow skin has been cleaned beautifully, okay? I scraped it really good and washed it. So that's good to go. Here we go. Let's get cooking. All right guys, so it's time to prep our okra and there's several ways to do this. I'm gonna show you a couple, okay, or a few. So what you can do is take one, cut it up like this all around, okay? And this can be time consuming. And then you go ahead and you chop it, okay? So that's one way to do it. All right, another way to do it is take it and just run your hand on it and just chop it, okay? And you'll get the same effect, okay? All right, or you can just take it and be cautious, you don't wanna cut yourself. Or 
if you have this amazing tool, a kitchen slicer or mandolin, you can just go ahead and just take one. First, we want to set it to the side you want them to cut up to, and then go ahead and slice it. This is the fastest way to do it I have found. Okay, and this is what it looks like right there. Another fast way of prepping your okra is by cutting three or more at a time by slicing them up thinly. You could also choose to just blend your okra by using your pulse function on your food processor or your blender. And you'll end up with more draw in your okra from that slimy nature of it. Um, and you'll have less texture as well. But I want a lot of texture in my okra soup, so therefore I decided to slice them up thinly. I've also prepped my spinach, so that's also good to go. Now, just checked on our meat, and it's cooked completely through. It actually took 47 minutes to cook the meat till tender. So I've set that on the side, and the actual beginning of the soup has started. All right, ladies and started. gentlemen, so it is now time to really assemble all of our prep ingredients to start cooking up the soup. Here I have some onions sliced thinly, some ginger chopped finely, and some chilies also sliced thinly. Let's go ahead and put them in. And then you give it a quick stir, and then I add some dawa dawa, and it's dawa dawa is fabulous for this recipe. In fact, if I had some fermented fish or fish sauce, or maybe even more money, ah, I would have added that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That would have been lovely. My goodness, yes, the smell in this house. My children are running from downstairs and asking, "What is cooking, mommy?" <laughs> it smells really good. Oh yeah. That is the truth. So I've chopped up some tomatoes and like again, you can blend it instead of chopping it. I just really want that texture. I want to see the texture. I want to feel the texture in my mouth. And that just makes eating more fun. So I've added the tomatoes and I'm giving a quick stir. And yes, I could have cooked the tomatoes a little further. But the reason I didn't do that in this recipe is because I've just added my smoked herrings to really develop the flavors and the smoked herrings come dry so they need to be rehydrated and I have done so by soaking them up in water and removing all those pin bones however they sat there for a while and they have lost the moisture again so then I added to the tomatoes while it still has moisture in it and cook it together until the moisture has disappeared or evaporated and then I add my meat and then I also add a little bit of the stock and I save the rest of the stock for cooking up my fresh produce, which would be the main ingredient, the okra, and also the spinach. So I cover it up and I continue to cook for about five more minutes and then I add my crabs, my fresh crabs. So yes, this also is a surf and turf approach, okay? So there's fish, there's meat, and it's just lovely. I mean, the smell in this house is intoxicating. Let me just say that. So as you can see here in a separate pan, this is the pan that I cooked up the meat in. I have saved up the rest of my meat broth and I have just added baking soda. And the baking soda is essential for retaining or enhancing the green color of the ingredients I'm adding, which is the okra and also the Spinach. It also helps to enhance the draw, that sliminess of the okra. And I love a little slime in my soup. When I cook my okra soup, I love to see the slime there and that draw. Yes, and my three-year-old, believe it or not, he loves this <laughs> recipe. Oh my gosh, he, he cannot have enough of this dish. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is adding the other surf part of this dish. I have some seed bass and what I've done is cleaned it up taking the scales off and the fins I've cut them up into small pieces and I have marinated with some onions some ginger some garlic and a little bit of salt and also I coated it with some wheat flour just to get a little bit of crunchiness going and also it helps to firm up the fish once you um, fry it I have deep fried it and I have incorporated it in my dish and quickly soon after I added the fish I also add my okra and spinach mixture so there you go I cooked up the okra and spinach for only five minutes okay until the draw was developed 
and here you have it i am dishing this and does this not look finger licking good <laughs> And let me tell you, my children could not wait for this soup to be done. Okay. <laughs> mm, yum. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. The okra did not get overcooked, so you still have all these textures in your mouth. It's just lovely, my goodness. You guys have to try this recipe. I really appreciate you guys all showing up. To it's well seasoned too. Oh my goodness, this is this is a winner, okay? Try a recipe. Please don't forget to share. Share this video. All right, let's spread the word. And um, also, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Turn your notification on. Like this video if you like it. And I cannot wait to see you again in my next video. And by the way, I have also uploaded the video on how I prepare my banku mix, including my banku as well. So check that out. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate all of you for subscribing. Thank you all for watching. Make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen.